Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today video, we are going to discuss about the service endpoint and private endpoint. We will see what is service endpoint and what is private endpoint, and we will see the difference between both the services. So let's understand. So first we will see about the service endpoint. What is Azure service endpoint? So service endpoints allow you to secure your Azure resources to only your virtual network. What that doesn't explicitly mean private traffic only. So let's understand with the help of this particular diagram. So I have a virtual network here and inside virtual network I have two subnets, subnet 1 and subnet 2. And I have created a Azure storage account as part of this virtual network and this subnet. So now what I want, I want a, I, I have a virtual machine as part of subnet 1. Now I want to connect the storage account from this virtual machine. So now let's see how basically traffic will flow. So when we connect to the Azure storage account from this particular virtual machine, then the Azure storage account will see the private IP address of this virtual machine when it will leave to the virtual network. Still, it will use the public IP address of the storage account. So it, it means the traffic in still virtual network, we have a private and when the virtual machine is trying to connect to the storage account, it still needs to go to the Microsoft backbone network and it has to use the public IP address of the resource. It could be the storage account, it could be SQL server. So again, it's using the public IP address. So here what is happening, the traffic is not completely secure because it's still going through the public IP address. So if you see here, when you enable a service endpoint for a subnet, it allows private IP address in the VNet to communicate or reach that particular resource type using the public IP of a resource. So here we have a resource storage account. So still the virtual machine needs to go through the public IP address of this particular storage account. So it means the traffic is not completely inside a virtual network. It is still going through the public IP address over internet basically. The virtual machine will use its private IP to communicate with the public endpoint of the storage account. The storage account will see the private IP address of the VM. So like basically the storage account is still seeing it's connecting through the private IP address but the virtual machine uh, is going through the public IP of the storage account. So it is not a 100% uh, pri uh, pri private uh, network or private traffic basically. And one more thing, this service endpoint we enable at a service level. So for example, if we are creating a Azure SQL, uh, sorry Azure storage account and then for example we have two storage account as part of this subnet then this virtual machine will have access to the both of the storage account because this service endpoint we create at a service level like for example microsoft azure storage account will have different resources like blog file table so all the resources you will have access now let's see what is private endpoint <laughs> Unlike a service endpoint, private endpoint is also used for a secure communication but in a some different way. So a private endpoint is a network interface that uses a private IP address from a virtual network. So let's understand again with the help of this diagram what is happening here. Again I have a virtual network and inside virtual network I have a two subnet, subnet 1 and subnet 2. You can ignore the subnet 2 because we are not discussing on that particular thing. So in subnet 1, again I have a virtual machine and the storage account as part of this subnet 1. Now I want to connect from this virtual machine to this storage account. Then how we will connect? We have to create a private endpoint. And when we create a private endpoint, we also create a network interface card. If you can see here, this uh, green diagram is a network interface card. It means we are bringing the storage account service in our virtual network it means the we will like from this virtual network ip address range we will get from the subnet range we have 192.168.0.3 then from this particular subnet range one of the ip address will assign to storage account as well so for example 192.168.0.4 so the private IP addresses we are allocating to this storage account. Now when we 
connect through this virtual machine to this storage account there is a basically it's a it's kind of tunnel is has been created so the all the traffic will go through this particular tunnel this is nothing it's kind of a network interface card so we are not sending any traffic to the internet or to the public ip addresses because we bring the storage account in our virtual network in our subnet so the traffic will flow between using through this network interface card so in private endpoint this is highly secure but if private endpoint basically uh, suppose uh, sql azure storage account will have different resources blob file table and uh, queue so in private endpoint you have to choose a resource label you have to create a private endpoint at a resource label you cannot create a service label for example you have created a service endpoint sorry a private endpoint for a particular storage account then you will have access in all the resources like blob file table queue you will not have access you have to create a private endpoint based on the resources if you have three resources you have to create a three private endpoint this is highly secure by enabling a private endpoint you are bringing the services in your virtual network so basically the the blob storage account will part of this subnet and the communication will through using this network interface card so there is no use of public ip address which we required on a storage account so this is highly secure if you notice service endpoint only enables the communication by using the private ip within the vnet whereas the private endpoint will attach a network interface to the resources and the resource will be part of the vnet so because we have added the network interface card that means we bring this storage account to our virtual network then we can easily communicate without any public ip addresses this will ensure no traffic leaves the virtual network and all the communication is private even and if you see in service endpoint what was happening the virtual from virtual machine the storage account is seeing like it the traffic is coming through the private ip address but still the virtual machine was using the public ip address of the uh, azure storage account so this that was not a completely private traffic between a uh, storage account and the virtual machine but in private endpoint we have created a kind of tunnel with the help of network interface card so the traffic whatever it flow between virtual machine and the storage account it will through kind of a tunnel for example if we can assume so the traffic is completely secure between both the resources now let's understand the uh, few pointers between service endpoint and private endpoints so if we see the scope at what level we can create the services so service endpoint as we discussed we can create as a service level like it will create a service endpoint for as a microsoft storage account and if pri uh, private endpoint will use per instance like for blob table queue file so the per instance level we have to create a private endpoint connectivity service endpoint will still use the public ip address but the, in the in the case of private endpoint we will completely use a private communication between the resources and if we will see the data security so here what was happening the virtual machine was using the public ip address of the azure storage account it means the traffic leaves virtual network to the azure vacuum but in the private endpoint it's completely secure because we are not using any kind of public ip address to connect to the resources now it's come to data protection you have to integrate some kind of network uh, fire virtual application or firewall for protection but in the case of private endpoint it's a built in data protection we have issued microsoft providers now come to the cost part so service endpoint is a basically a no additional cost it's a free of use whatever the risk cost you will it microsoft will charge you for the virtual network you have to pay only that cost but in private endpoint you have to pay all the inbound and outbound traffic which we are throwing between the resources you have to pay for that as well so it's basically completely depend on your requirement on your scenario what kind of services you have to use in your project or in your application if suppose if you are using multiple uh, resources of a service then i would say you have to use service endpoint it will cost you less if you are using a one resource of a particular service then i would say you have to use a private endpoint 
if i just quickly show you in a azure portal uh, what does it mean at when we talk about the scope level things so i'll just give you a quickly tour here let me go to my azure portal I will create a separate video on a, on a particular service endpoint demo and a private endpoint demo. We will create a virtual machine and we will also create a storage account. Then we will see how we can connect from a virtual machine to the storage account. I think we will we can use a storage explorer. I think we can use that one. So in our next video, I will create a demo video on both the topics. So let me go to my virtual network here. I have virtual network called VNet1 and if i go to settings here here i have a subnet so let me go to this subnet so now you can see here the service endpoint so if i go drop down here you can see this is all the services which microsoft azure providers for example if i talk about microsoft storage then what we are going we are going to we are going to create a service endpoint that is to, uh, uh, service level basically so it means all the resources sub resources like file blob and all all will be a part of this particular service endpoint and if i go back to my uh, storage account let's try to understand the private endpoint as well so i think i have a storage account here so if i'll go to security and networking let me go to networking and if I go to private endpoint here and I clear a private endpoint so you can see here let me put uh, some name demo now if I see a network interface sorry uh, region okay let me go to select the resources and existing so now here you will see target sub resources so here you will see uh, at blob level you have to create a private endpoint or table level or queue or file or web or so basically these are sub resources so if you want to create a blob at blob and table level both level then you have to create a two private endpoint one for blob and one for table so this is basically uh i would say uh if you have a requirement only a blob storage you don't want to use any other sub resources then it's good to if you can use a private endpoint else if you have to use all the sub resources then i would suggest you should use a service endpoint because that is free of cost you will not pay any additional cost and you will utilize all the services within a single service endpoint so i hope it's clear uh, that's all for today see you in next video thank you so much